Okay, you've made the decision to purchase a parrot, you research what breed you want to obtain, now you have to prepare for the bird's homecoming. You can't just bring the bird home and turn it loose in your living room. There are several sources of specific information regarding what cage is best for each breed of parrot on the internet as well as recommendations from cage manufacturers. Some parrots like a large cage with lots of open space. Others prefer a more intimate atmosphere. You can usually tell which cage is right for your bird by its nature and personality. A very active bird will usually tend to prefer a larger cage and the docile bird will be much happier with a smaller enclosure. Some birds don't like to be out in the open like the African gray parrot. This species likes to have its back to the wall. They actually get very nervous if they're in a high traffic area. And if you do any research into the habitat that parrots come from, you'll find that many of those birds are prey. They're actually part of the food chain and therefore have to be constantly on the alert for predators. That's why they will get nervous when strangers are present. If you keep this in mind when you consider where to place your cage, you'll have a much happier bird. You should consider purchasing more than one cage. That's right, I have several. The reason is, is that you will want to have other options for your feathered friend. I have a home cage for my bird, which is his primary residence, but sometimes I'll sit outside and share the wonders of the outdoors with him. Moving the large cage outside is not really an option, and it would be very upsetting to my parrot. For that reason, I have a smaller cage that I can carry outside on my covered patio. My bird seems to like the change of scenery, and we can both enjoy nature and the wonders of the warm spring, summer, and fall days. Additionally, you're going to need a cage for traveling with the bird. Trips to the vet should be made in a safe environment, so buckle your bird in the back seat and have a safe trip. Depending on the age of your parrot, it might make sense to have a smaller cage for a baby parrot. The reason is you don't want an oversized cage for the younger birds because they can actually injure themselves if they have a larger cage by flying into the side of the cage. They have to learn how to control their flight trajectory before letting them loose. In addition to the cage, you're going to need perches, water, food bowls, as well as some toys to keep your bird occupied. You can obtain all of these items online from several distributors. Just Google Pet Parrot Supplies, and I also can recommend sites such as www.whitefeatheredbirdproducts.com or theperchstore.net. They have a full array of cages, toys, perches, and other fun stuff. The cage is just one of the items you're going to need. You're going to need at least one tea stand for training purposes. I have several because my guy, my guy will actually behave himself when I take him out of his cage and move to other locations in the house. I use them to let him socialize with my guests while keeping him in one place rather than flying all over the room. Want more information? Here are a few choices. My website is www.learnaboutparrots.com. Your first option at my website is a complete ebook called Raising Polly, the complete everything you need to know about parrot care book with two bonuses. The first is an audio version of the book and the second is a book with 12 simple parrot tricks that you can teach your bird in easy to accomplish steps. The second option is a 10 part mini course on the secrets to parrot care and the best part is it's free. Go to my website now www.learnaboutparrots.com Really, it's free. Do it now.